Today's Elementor lesson takes us to the next level. We click Edit New Elementor on a typical page. We don't have to always start from scratch. Instead of clicking the plus sign to add a new section, we can instead click this little folder icon to add more choices here. It says templates, but there's actually blocks, pages, and templates. So let's try blocks. These are pre-made blocks, so you don't have to start from ground zero each time. You can search for elements, or you can use a category such as call to action. Uh, there's one that looks like it has an image and a form. And then you click the green insert button, and lo and behold, there it is. And you can see that you have, by looking up here, you have a header module. This looks like a background image on a column. Here's a form module in a different column. So let's say, and then you just can go ahead and edit. So let's say you want to change this background image on the column. You can just click this image, pick a different one. Uh, perhaps this woman instead. Insert media, update. And, um, and there you go. Now you can um, do it again. Let's try another one. Let's try a category called services. Where is that? Here's one. And they have some cool pre-made blocks. Here's one that looks like a checkerboard pattern. Let's insert it into the post. You can see it's really an image, some text, there's heading, and again, we can do things such as adjust it to our needs by say, let's say we wanted to change this word to our services update. And then let's say we wanted to change the uh, background color of the entire section. Let's say here it's black. Let's say we want to change it to blue. Can update that and so on and so forth we can again change an image to one that we prefer here is food uh, now that's a small size so we can say let's bring it up to that size update it and then when we're done we can just view the page and as you can see how much time you can save by using pre-made Elementor blocks.